Alright, so I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see or hear with those machines going, but. Alright, so you click on the text, you choose a font. For the applique, I always use number two or number six. We'll use number six. Oh, we have a stupid chip in. Okay, so you click in the center, you choose your letter, and you make it as big as it'll go. Okay, make it bigger. Control M. Okay. So then you're going to click on up here. You're going to click on zigzag or running stitch, I mean. And then you're going to click on the second one and hit no sew. That's going to give you your base stitch. Then you're going to hit control C for copy, control V for paste. And then you can see over here it gave you two options. Um, okay, so then, and we can actually make that second one a triple stitch, which helps keep it in place. So then you're going to control paste again. You don't have to copy it because you already copied it. And then the third one over here, we're going to click up and make a zigzag stitch. You're going to go over here and you're going to choose your sewing attributes and you're going to click your zigzag width. Maybe look and see how big three is. Yeah, maybe 3.5 or even 4. Okay, so that gives you your um, satin stitch. Then you're going to come over here and um, choose a different font or um, import one. Uh, it really doesn't even matter. I don't know why I'm being picky. Um, Okay, so then you're going to make sure I'm holding the dongle this whole time. Oh no. Okay, so then I'm going to... I'm literally holding it still. Come on. Okay, so then I'm going to hit the text. I'm going to type A-N-D-Y, enter. Whoopsies. You're gonna make it big, and then you're gonna um, go up here and hit no sew, and then you're gonna go here and hit satin, because it thinks that you're trying to make this uh, your name. It thinks you're trying to make it um, an applique. That's why you have to go back and switch those over. So Control M to put it in the middle, and you're done. And to make sure all your B's appliques are good, you can hover over all of them, highlight them, Control M and it didn't move so we know it was still in the middle um, so yeah that's how thick it is and you are done I kind of like that font it's called a billion stars or something billion stars personal use very cool file save as and then save it where you want